Oh, look at that. Oh, he's pretty cool. Oh, what are you? You are those donuts? the fact that as I am filming this tomorrow is the first day of March and the first day of March means spring is right around the corner and spring means warmer weather <laughs> so uh, I'm still wearing my big fuzzy sweater today but I know it won't be long and we will be pulling out the tank tops and t-shirts here in Las Vegas so very much looking forward to that uh, but today, I believe, I think it's today. It could be next Monday. I'm going to have to check when we get inside, but they changed their $1 color day to Mondays. And I don't know if that started today or it starts next week, but that means that whatever color has been 50% off during the week is now going to be $1 on Mondays because... I don't like shopping on Saturdays. It's too crowded. And so it used to be Saturdays and they're moving it. So I don't know if that's going to make Mondays too crowded. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Well, we can't see anything as long as we're sitting here in the car. So let's get in there. Let's get shop done. All right. First things first, we got the lucky cart. All right. It is today is the $1 color day. First thing is they have some new uh, carts of stuff out here. Take a peek, see if there's anything special, like a summer sew paperweight for $1.99. Now it does say Centennial Hills Hospital on the back. Oh, that could hurt its value, but it is really pretty and it's only $1.99, so I'm gonna get it. See what these little teacups are. Can't tell. No price on that one. No price on that one. That's acrylic. Candles. Let's see what else we got under here. Oh, nothing too exciting. And this cart has, let's see if that's, is that the price for this one? Nope, this one's priced. I don't know where that price came from. Here. I'm gonna put it there so the worker can find it. But this one. This is a copper, uh, it's $4.99 and it says up there something California. I was looking for a date, there's no date. So we're gonna grab that. All right, since we're back here by the glasses, we are just gonna start back here today. Kind of different for me to start back here in the glass, but it's a little bit crowded. It's a little bit more crowded than a Monday evening normally is, which I'm sure is accomplishing the goal that Goodwill wanted to, was to kind of move some of that Saturday traffic to Mondays, which was a generally slow day. So that's some good, uh, good management there, just kind of figuring that out. All right, I don't see anything here. We are looking on all of the shelves to see if there's anything new and exciting. I do see these big margarita glasses. They are a Mexican blown glass. They're pretty awesome, but I can't even imagine trying to put four of these into a 12 by 12 by 12 box. It would be really difficult versus some Sky Vodka Martini glasses. Uh, those are a buck ninety nine each, and they've got the Sky Vodka logo on them. Uh, these promotional glasses can do pretty good, and there is a set of four, so I am going to grab those. Okay, let's see if we can find some other cool goodies. Ooh, there's a skull mug, a really big skull mug. This is... Uh, it was a dollar ninety nine at Halloween time. Now it's two ninety nine. Now, 
That doesn't deter me all on its own. Uh, if it was more like a sugar skull with color, I would probably grab it. And if we were closer to Halloween, I would grab it. But just a plain black skull mug is going to sit for a little bit this time of year. So that is the reason I am leaving that one behind. And we are looking through the mugs, looking for Disney, looking for Starbucks, looking for vintage, and not seeing a thing. I totally agree with this sign. That's definitely how I uh, put my family together. Not in the plate. Pass your plates. That's a Home Essentials, which is a Target brand. Really, really pretty art pottery serving bowl, console bowl. It's not signed. It's beautiful, but it's big. Not something I want to ship. So we are on the lookout for things with purple tags would be just one dollar. That's a pretty little milk glass vase, but they just don't, they're popular, but they don't bring much because there's just so much of it out there. Oh, look that. I saw this when I edited the video from the last time I was here and I liked it then and I kind of like it now and it's only a dollar, so I'm gonna grab it. And we'll see what else the bowls, the bowls, what else the dishes have to unfold and not a whole bunch all right we are gonna skim through the plastic aisle here just to see if anything is out of place or maybe there's some vintage Tupperware or something cool that I just can't live without but it looks pretty ordinary today with nothing exciting. So we'll move along and we'll go into the, the faux flowers and greenery or fake if you prefer. Oh, we have some big burlapy flowers. Kind of cool. <gasps> oh, I'm going to look at this, but first I'm going to look at this. We have some I think this is vintage. Yeah, those are 1970s big old macrame beads on this little baby. Ooh, where's your price tag? Where's your price tag? How much are you? Because you're pretty fantastic. No price, but this Goodwill always gives me a really good price. Oh my goodness. There's another one. It's, it's even more fantastic. Look at him. Is he missing something though? I mean, I'm still gonna get him. Missing something or not. I'm just trying to figure out why he's only got one little wingy thing here. Hmm. It's okay, it's okay. We're still, we're still gonna rescue him. And he doesn't have a price either. Oh, you know what? I bet they came out of that bag right there. <gasps> they sure did, $4.99 for both of them. There they are, all baggied up. $4.99 for both of those babies. And I'm gonna look at this. It looks like it's got some age on it. It says Pennington underneath there. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of big. Not super spectacular. So today we are gonna leave that one. Ooh, those are metal. Oh, came from Big Lots for $3.99. $3.99 and they've got it for $2.99. I guess it's okay because they do have the discount days. Somebody will get that eventually for a dollar if it's still here. Oh, I like those. Those are for me though. This is what I decorate with. Okay, some people laugh at me for my taste in the the fake flowers, but honestly, they bring me joy with their color and the fact that I'm not going to kill them because I forget to water them or something of that sort, which yes, it happens. Let's look at this. Oh, there is no weight whatsoever to, I mean, it is really, really, really lightweight and an unfinished edge. 
That means it's cheap glass and we're gonna leave it. And see if there's any other goodies. I did see something down below here. This would have come from like a bar. This is where they put all the, the limes and the lemon and the olives and the such things. Malibu Island Spice. I bet this has some resale value um, because this isn't just something that just a consumer can go to a big box store and buy. Um, this is a specialty item for a commercial establishment and it probably was provided by Malibu. So I'm gonna see if there's any others listed on eBay. Well, I can't find another one like it, but just a generic plastic one sells for 20 to 25. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna meet my uh, margin requirement. And it's only $7.99. I'm gonna turn that into probably about 30 to 40. Okay, now we are in my favorite little row of goodies. And we'll see what calls to us here today. It's a little bit wiped out because they've been running the sale all day and it's later in the evening. I like to come later in the evening. I found me some ducks. I found me some ducks that say for Joe Patricia 1985. It's $12.99 for those ducks. Yeah, I think they're a hobbyist piece. Instead of like actually painting them, someone just put this just a little earth tone. I mean, they're pretty. I just don't think I'm gonna pay $12.99 for them. Gosh, you guys know how I love these things. I honestly, if a burglar ever comes to my house, they're gonna be so surprised that they can't find anything because it all mixes in with my books. I don't know, maybe I won't be able to find anything either. This guy is gonna make me cry because he's got a broken ear. Darn, look how gorgeous he is. Poor baby. And then we have a chicken. We have a chicken for $3.99. That's pretty adorable and cute, but it's kind of big. Nothing super outstanding. I know, block your ears. Don't hear me say that, but we're gonna leave him for somebody else. All right, let's look and see. What is this girl? She is like the corn husk. E.J. Ordy, number 156, Santa Fe Angel. She is handmade. She's definitely vintage. She's got all kinds of little markers on her. She doesn't have a price, so I'm gonna get her if the price is right. See a little leaf here, nothing on it. This is a little, I guess you would call that a fairy lamp, but it's a little, a little crude. Oh, we've got a piratey looking guy here. Oh, this is still here. Still such a shame. Had this not been broken? Oh, still kind of breaks my heart. Oh, we have Sleeping Kitty. Shelf sitter. For $5.99. He is really adorable. $5.99 is just a little much to pay for him at this point. Hopefully when that color goes 50%, he'll still be here. We got dream sickles. Cute little, I think this is a hobbyist piece. Yep. Teddy bear. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's pretty cool. He does not have a price, so again, he's one of those pieces that we're going to have to get a price on. Okay, let's see what's new. That's another kind of a little fairy lamp. I only look for the, the glass ones. I don't purchase. This is a Laura Ashley. It's probably got some value, but it's just not my thing. Whereas... Ooh, you're heavy duty. Oh my goodness. Um, it's a laser cut rooster napkin holder. That's my thing. 
right there. Four ninety nine. Oh, did it help Saturday not having so many people here? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll start coming back on uh, Saturdays. Oh yeah, Saturdays were so crazy. Yep, yep. It's good thinking. Those have little horsies on them. I was just talking to the employee here about how it has affected the uh, the flow of customers. So it worked the way they wanted it to. So I am happy for them. All right, anything exciting in the candles today? Oh, Castagna is a very good brand. Let me show you how that's spelled. And uh, this is a 1988, he's $4.99. I can tell it is a Doberman Pinscher Castagna. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at him. He is definitely coming home with me. Okay, we're going to look at our little baby Christmas section here. Is that a Starbucks? It is a Starbucks. What year are you from? 2020 Starbucks. Still got its little waffle something and some hot chocolate in there. Hey, it's only a year old. Probably still doable. Interesting piece, but it is a cheaper glass. For sure. What is that? Oh, I thought it was a book. It's not. It's a painting. And it's one of those, um, like the, the wine and paint party kind of paintings. Okay, I'm going to have to come back to the wood section because it's a little crowded right now. I'm looking back through these costumes because I thought I had grabbed the Wonder Woman costume and I totally forgot the Wonder Woman costume. So I was hoping it would still be here, but of course it's not. Oh well, oh well. Hotel del Coronado, a little stolen ice bucket. <laughs> You're really not supposed to take the ice buckets. Just saying. Uh, and then they end up in Goodwill, that's the sad thing. It's like, at least if you're going to steal it, keep it. Come on. What are these? Mm -hmm. Body something? Are those like body latex paints? Okay. Guess I don't want to know. Guess I don't want to know. Let's see. This just says shelf. Is it a shelf? I can't tell. Yep. Some kind of a shelf. So look, the cauliflower box is still here, which still intrigues me because I couldn't find anything like it. But now that I look at it, the finial's really broken. Okay, now I feel better leaving it. Sorry. Got some signs. We've got a uh, poker backsplash. I have never done well with these. I know there's some people that do, they're great men cave things, but I have always had trouble selling them. But then we have a, we have a, uh, okay, it's not Baby Yoda, even though it looks like Baby Yoda, it's, he's got a name. He's the, Ma is it Mandalorian or something like that? $5.99 for little, I call it Baby Yoda. I can't help it. Okay, I think that's a good deal. I think somebody will give me 20 bucks for that at the booth. Oh my goodness. I love this sign so much. I am fairly certain that given a cape and a nice tiara, I could save the world. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. I have nowhere to go with it though, unfortunately. So I'll leave that for somebody else who feels the same way. And I will look at these little paintings over here. Those are prints. Those are actually prints. They are not paintings. All right. Oh, that's a nice piece. And then there's a purple duck. There's a big, large, 
Is each one priced separately? Tell me no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Each one priced separately. So they're $3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And that one is eight. So it's like $23. Well, I didn't look at all of them. Oh no, that one's $5.99 also. So what's that? 26, 27, 28, 29. So it'd be like $29 for the whole set. Nope, can't do it. Oh, I do like the birdies, but I got no more room right now. The bird wall, the bird wall. Uh, the, the problem with the bird wall is I need a big ladder. I'm just waiting on a my handyman to come over with a big ladder to finish the bird wall. Okay, I'm kind of digging this. I think. Does that, I think that's supposed to twist down. Oh, there we go. There we go. And it's a fish. I've seen them in fruits and things. I'm not sure I've ever seen one in a fish. So for that reason, I'm going to grab it. Hmm. Soon to be grumpy old person. Nope. Nope. I refuse to get grumpy. Getting old has no correlation with getting grumpy. Unless you choose it to be. Do like that. But she doesn't really have anything to put in that. She being Rachel. And then there's this. This is a nice little vintage tray. It's $3.99. I'm just wondering. I think I can get that off of there. I think I'm going to pick that up. What is this? I am not sure. Just, I don't know. I don't know what that would hold. Let me know down in the comments if you know what that would hold. Give me a W or give me an M. Okay. Oh, there's a fancy L and a fancy S. Oh, I kind of like that fancy L, but I'm debating guys. I'm debating. I kind of like my L though. I just have to do some embellishments and some of my other letters on the wall. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you come to any of my lives, either on Mondays or Fridays at 1 p.m., you will see that I have Niche Lady spelled behind me, and I'm still looking for my T. I'm still looking for my T. I've got an H-E, but it doesn't do me any good to put the H-E up until I find the right T. It's not just finding a T, it's finding the right T. All right, on to the Mishy Mashy shelves. And let me just make a note here as I look at these notebooks and somebody was telling me, yeah, you really should just go to the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store to buy your notebooks. So uh, my response to that is I don't shop there normally. I shop at Goodwills. And so going to the Dollar Store would require me driving to a completely different place and going just to find those you know, those dollar notebooks where I can buy them here for like $2, but I'm already here anyway. So got to remember time is money. So many of you need to remember time is money. Your time spent chasing down a better deal somewhere on stuff can actually be costing you more. I'm super aware of that. So I multitask and if I find something at a Goodwill that I can utilize, it's okay if I paid a little bit more than I would at say the dollar store. I found Noah another dream catcher. I think he'll like this one because it's in the same color tones as what he's decorating his room with. Yeah, they're pretty wiped out today, I must say. It might be worth coming here, you know, on a Monday morning before people get off work. I'm trying to figure out what these are. Are they bags? I guess it says on the back, Danny, if you just read. No, it doesn't really say. They're kind of purty. kind of like them. I don't know what I could put in them. You know, if I sell little pieces of jewelry or something, because it's only 99 cents for a whole caboodle of them. So someone stashed this little old piece of art over here. Now it is a print and it's really discolored over time. But what I'm looking at is this frame. 
that looks like it's a tiger oak. And you can see the age on the back here, and it's only $2.99. So look at the wire that was used for this. Look at the little staples. Like this definitely, definitely has some age on it. So that that's a good pickup for $2.99. Well, somebody bought those drums from the last time I was here with Noah. All right, let's see what we got in the lamps tonight. Hmm, nothing super exciting. This is an interesting marriage. Pretty sure that that shade didn't originally go with that lamp. Looks a little odd. Okay, I couldn't even get close enough to the art to take you along with me. Um, but I didn't find anything in the art. It's kind of cute. So we're back looking in the textiles. See if there's anything cool back here. Like, you know, bright purple curtains. No, are those, no, those are tablecloths. Those are bright purple tablecloths. Gotta love that. We've got a kind of a safari themed African print, uh, kind of a garden flag. It's on bamboo. It's neat, but nope, nothing that we're gonna pick up. I'm scanning through the pillows, just seeing if anything kind of catches my attention. And there is really nothing today that I can't live without. I got a request that I show as I'm searching through the plushes and such. Uh, so here we are. These are Paw, Paw Patrol. Yeah, pretty grungy. Pretty grungy. I don't like to do cleaning. I only like to buy things that are ready to sell. Um, just again, goes back to that time is money. So this is what? Oh my goodness, it's pancakes. It's like felt board pancakes. It's pretty cute. Put you there so somebody can find you. We have one very, uh, Raggedy Barbie. I'm not sure what her story is or what she did last night, but she's got one. Oh, this guy's got a rip, but I still need to see if it's a brand that... No, it's a TY. It's Bubbles, the TY. He's super cute, but he is ripped. So I see a cute little face peeking over here. Oh, he's just a little tiger. He's also a TY. All right, nothing on this shelf. Okay, I just found two pillowcases, so now that makes me go, oh, well, let me just peek through the pillowcases, since some already jumped out at me, and I've been finding some really good brands on, and not in the pillows, but in the pillow covers, which are really much easier to ship than the actual pillows. Um, hotel, hotel collection, hmm. A lot of hotels liquidate and donate their stuff to Goodwill out here. We do have many, many, many hotels out here, as you know. So that makes sense, but yep, nothing else in the pillows today. These are the ones I picked up, but I picked these up to give to my kids. Each one of them is gonna get a, a love you more pillow because that's like my little saying to them. The blankets are pretty wiped out again today. Take a peek. Nope, you can tell by the yarn, the ones that are worth picking up. That's super flimsy, cheap yarn that they used there on that one. Again, the toys are really wiped out. Everything's really wiped out. I'm gonna have to really rethink my Monday shopping strategy because things have changed. One other thing I found that I didn't get to film finding is these seagulls. Uh, they are wood. Yep, they came from like TJ Maxx or Home Goods. $3.99. I don't know if I'm going to keep these yet or not. I do like seagulls. I know they're like the, the pigeons of, for those who live by the beach. Um, this little guy, I actually dropped him off the shelf and did that. So I, I do feel obligated to take him home. I'll have Rachel touch him up a little bit. Uh, but they're kind of cool, and I may keep them, but we're going to look up and see what they're worth, too. 
I just realized I missed an entire row. I see, I've talked about this before. If I don't go in my order that I'm used to, then it's really easy for me to get off track and miss things. So we are back here and I spotted these. I gotta see who makes these. Let's see if there's one that I don't have to peel so bad. This is always, ugh. Stickers always something pottery. They're kind of cool looking. And there's unfortunately only three of them and not four. Ooh, I see something back there too. But they've got they've got kind of a sequoia treasure craft kind of a look to them. And they're only 99 cents, so I do think I'm gonna pick those up. And then I'm gonna grab the little cobalt blue cut to clear bohemian glass for $3.99. Yes, I will take that. Let's see what this little guy is. Kind of looks like almost Polish pottery, but it's not marked unless, again, it's under our little friend, the tag. But no, I don't see anything under there. So we're going to leave that one and I am going to come over here and see who the maker on this little set is. Again, somebody's already peeled that tag up before me. I think it just says, what does that say? Oh, that says Georges Briard. Now why wouldn't somebody take that if it's Georges Briard? Okay, all we got to preserve is that part for them to scan it. Unfortunately, the sugar is missing its lid, which is a super bummer. But you know what? I'm still, I, I'm not going to leave that piece behind uh, because I can't, I can't do it. So they're $2.99 each. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm still going to do it. They're going in the cart. And hey, who knows? Maybe I will find a lid. This is a little um, crystal lotus can candy candle holder. It is missing one of its petals, so I was almost ready to put it in the cart before I noticed that. That is in German. Osbach. It's just a single. Whatever it is, it's just a single, so we will leave that one. And... Mush. Let's see. I don't see anything down there. All right, we've got some canisters. A little corn holder. Just a single, though. Oh, we got some little garlic salt and peppers. They're not old. These are those Buccaneers glasses. And I don't know why I passed these by before. Because um, football stuff sells. It really, really does. So, $2.99, I think I'll pick that up. Okay, that's a funny, ooh, he's really, really dirty. That's that certified international, ooh, it's got that kitchen grunge. <laughs> oh, what are you? You, are those donuts? I don't know if those are supposed to be donuts. I don't even know who makes you, but you are super cute. But you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show a little discipline and I'm gonna leave you. All right, let's see. Wouldn't that be nice to find that Georgia Spriard lid? That is an old shaker. It's a very old shaker. Again, I wonder if it had a friend. Oh, okay, so where's the tray that went with it that was here before? Because I didn't see these before which means they had the whole thing to begin with and didn't put it all together and now somebody bought just that centerpiece. That's a bummer. All right, let's see if there's anything in this last little section. I don't think so. And then we'll just do a really quick skim. What are you? What are you? Elements Crystal made in Czech Republic. They're all candle holders in a big box. Hmm. Yep, 
that's how they came. Not exciting enough for me to deal with that. Just a box. Um, gotta look through all this kitcheny stuff because I've got my Noah now. And I always look for things that he would have fun using in the kitchen. Because he's my, he's my cook. He's my chef. He's my guy. We have one of these. I need to, I need to actually, I need to actually buy some pineapple so they can use it. I'm sure he's probably going to put some of his little comments in there about that. Well, I think that's it for this trip. I have to find out still how much the elephant head is and this little girl. Everything else, I showed you all of that as we went along, but I'm still going to do a recap where I show you what it is, what I paid, and how much it's worth. So we're going to get to that right now. So I also ended up with two blackout curtains. I kind of watch as I'm going through the checkout line. They have different colors of these all the time. Well, I found me some teal ones just in time before summer hits because I have two windows that face the sun and I'm gonna need those curtains. So matches my existing curtain that I put in there and uh, it'll blend with bougie again. You can tell I like that color. So got those, they were, they were 20 bucks, but it's two panels in each one, which is a really good deal for blackout curtains. So I'm happy about that. Well, that's a wrap. I can tell you Mondays are no longer gonna be my nice, peaceful shopping night. I'm not sure I'm gonna come on Mondays anymore because anytime you run any kind of a sale, promo, discount, people are gonna show up. And I don't like shopping in crowds. I never have and I never will. So I was getting a little uncomfortable. I also wasn't able to film some areas because there was never a time when there wasn't a bunch of people there. So like the art, I didn't even get to show the art. Uh, so we might change this to a little Sunday night excursion. Hey, maybe I can get Noah to come with me on Sunday nights. Who knows? Maybe. Uh, so I got some things coming up I want to tell you about too. I 
am going live thrifting next Monday and every first Monday of the month at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So you want to tune in for that. Uh, we're going to try it out. Dog Junkies is working with me on that. So I'm going to go do some live Dog Junkies thrifting. And the cool thing is that if you see something that you would like to buy, you can holler at me right there. It's your opportunity to say, Danny, Danny, grab that. I will grab it for you. Uh, so we're going to do that next Monday, March 7th, and every first Monday of the month. It's going to be an ongoing thing. They're opening specially for me. It's a day when Dog Junkies is closed and they have restocked the shelves from the previous week. So we're going to get to see things that nobody else has seen. That's going to be super fun. And then you want to stay tuned because later this month, yes, this month, as you're seeing this, uh, I'm going to have George the Antique Nomad on my Monday Live. So the Monday Lives are the place to be, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Make sure you are subscribed and you hit that little bell notification so it tells you when I go live, just in case you forget. All right, I am off to go meet some friends at a restaurant that is one of my absolute favorites in Las Vegas. It's called Capos. It's Italian. It's delicious. But most of all, the ambiance of the place is fantastic and I am going to try to remember to shoot a little bit and put it on the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. But until then, and as always, go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we told us that